so for context in this whole journey, I am this tiny scarf creature. And in the last part, I found out that I am part of some civilization that discovered this scarf magic and things were okay for them. Relatively speaking. And then at some point in their history, the scarf magic Civilizations eventually birthed that big dragon monstrosity. And, well, fast forward a couple more, I guess, centuries, and here I am, alone. Trying to make my way up to the mountain peak of this area, which is not very far, but from what we saw in the temple, this whole journey is going to get a lot more difficult, especially with this stupid lizard coming through, and it is a blizzard, we are in the snow, and it looks like I am going to have to endure a lot of harsh winds, which was indicated by a cutscene transition from this sort of scarf ancestor person thing, and okay, it looks like I can use these big rocks. Lock off the effects of this blizzard. So, at least some of the premonition of what my journey up here is going to be like is somewhat subverted. And now I have to wait out this whole blizzard. Until we get to a good enough distance, unfortunately, it would appear that my powers aren't really going to help too much. I'm guessing completing my scarf's flight collection of glyphs or symbols might have helped give me some endurance, but I'm going to try helping this companion of mine move forward, mostly because if this is going to be my final part, I kind of want to be nice to this somewhat shorter scarfed companion of mine. And so, we 
pass our first hurdle into this next hurdle of mass graves. And as we found out in the first part of this game, all of these statues are graves. And it looks like we can at least do some good by releasing this scarf creature, which is good. Yeah, so, as we saw in some parts of this game, the Scarf Civilization that lived here and did Scarf things, I think they might have screwed up in being good Samaritans to their neighbor once the idea of scarcity became apparent. As you heard from all those roars, we have to deal with that guy now. Fortunately, I actually am pretty good at avoiding that big dragon creature thing. All I have to do is keep going forward, and eventually, things will maybe turn out all right. Now, to pass these steps, and I think I found a secret thing over here. Yeah, it's a kind of lantern? Now this is actually kind of nice. Anyway, let's go floating up here. And... Okay, it looks like the dragon things may have done something to our ancestors? I'm guessing this is an implication that there was a big war against... well... all of the civilization that lived here because these scarf powers were becoming a lot more scarce. This is actually kind of familiar. The old... Ah! Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Ah, I fell down. No. Ah. Okay. here again. Oh, I feel like an idiot. Okay, I'm just going to cut right about now. Okay, we're back here again. I am back on this bridge. I remember fixing bridges a long time ago, and 
now we're back on to the rest of this journey. And from the looks of things, it's not going to get any easier at all. But, I think I will stick to the caves here, because, well, there's all of these graves, and, well, there's a moon, and, oh great, it's those dragon things. thumbnail and we go up here and it would appear that my struggle yes dropped me into this chasm dragon thing, especially with my empty flight power. Uh, great. And we also have this big violin solo thing. Uh, well, let's just ignore any possible that we might have encountered, or may have to encounter. Um, okay, now we're seeing a big light thing, and I am really struggling to stay away from that little 
Okay. Hi. Ah, come on. Okay, I've got to deal with another guy. Come on, stupid lizard. Blowing me back. Okay. And... We go here. And we're still being beaten by the lizard.
that's in the one I'm getting here. And you may ask why am I going down this route? Especially with these deceased dragon cages around me? I don't really know. I think I'm kind of in a bad situation here because it looks like I am losing my screen power. But here we are, so very close to the blizzard. Silence of this field. My journey slowly and painfully comes to the end. Like right about now? Okay, maybe not now. Uh, okay, there are no views of that summit. And all I can do is slowly and surely die. And bleh. 